everybody. I'm Nancy and this is my mascot Missy and she's going to join us for today's exercise. So we thought it might be fun to try some animal movements. Um, our first choice is the crab walk. So I'm going to put Missy down. So for the crab walk we're going to want to go ahead and get on our hands and our knees and we're going to push our bottom up off the floor and we're going to walk. We can walk in different directions. We can walk forward we can work, walk backwards, but we're trying to keep our bottom up off the floor. We can walk sideways and back to the start. And that's our crab walk. Now, we can make our crab walk even harder if we try to balance something on our belly. Ready, Missy? Let's try this. All right, hope she doesn't fall. Here we go. We're going to walk forward and now backwards. So far, so good. There we go. That's our crab walk. I'll put Missy right here. Now we're going to try our bear walk. So we're going to be on our hands and knees for this as well, but we're going to face the floor. So I'm going to try to keep my hands and my feet straight. And I'm going to try to walk opposite arm with opposite leg. And this is my bear walk. And I can walk backwards with this as well. Good. Let's do one more bear walk. Let's go forward. And let's go backwards. we try to be a duck. So what does a duck do? A duck waddles. A duck has wings. So let's take our hands, let's put them underneath our armpits, and let's squat low like a duck, and let's waddle. We have to stay in this squat position while we walk. And flap your wings. Okay, I'm going to turn around and come back. Am I waddling like a duck? How about we try donkey kicks? So, I'm going to go to the floor and I'm going to kick my legs up and out. One. Let's try five donkey kicks. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. That was fun. Ooh, inchworm. Okay, ready? We're going to stand nice and tall. We're going to walk our hands down to our toes and then we're going to place them on the floor. So we're going to walk our hands out and now we're in a nice plank position. So we're going to walk our feet to our hands. Stand up nice and tall, come back to the start and now we're going to do our inchworm one more time. Walk those hands down to your toes. Get them flat on the floor, walk them out, go into your plank position, and now you're going to bring your feet to your hands. One more inchworm in this direction, and then we're going to turn around and come back. Good. Turn around. Let's go back to where we started from. Walk your hands down to your feet. Get them flat on the floor. Walk them out. Go into a plank position. Walk your feet to your hands. Stand nice and tall and repeat. some frog hops. All right, so we're going to squat low to the ground, pretend you're a frog, and ready? We're going to hop five frog hops 
in this direction. One, two, three, four, get nice and low, five. Now we're gonna do our frog hugs all the way back. Let's go for five. Ready? Go nice and deep in your little squat and hop. One, two, three, four, one more, five. Good. How about we try to be a kangaroo? Kangaroos jump high. So let's go ahead and bring our feet together. Just a soft bend in those knees. And when we jump like a kangaroo, we're gonna jump nice and tall. How high can you get? Ready? One, two, three, four, one more, five. Awesome. How about a flamingo? Let's be a one-legged flamingo. So this is gonna be a challenge for our balance because we're gonna start by standing on one foot. Then when we jump, when we jump, we're gonna land on the opposite leg. Watch. One. Ready? Let's do six. Two. Three. Four. Five. One more. Six. Awesome. Now, one more exercise I have is how about we pretend to be a bunny. So, we're gonna jump first our hands, then our feet. Hands, feet. Hands, feet. Hands, feet. Hands, feet. Hands, feet. Let's try that one more time. Ready? So we're gonna get low. Place your hands forward. Hop with those feet. Hands, feet. Hands, feet. Hands, feet. Thanks for joining me and Missy today. So those were our animals. What animals can you think of that you might want to try to be? Maybe a dinosaur? Maybe a sea creature? Maybe a horse? What's one of your favorites? Get outside and try it. Have fun. Hi guys, thanks for coming today. So for today's exercise, we're gonna work on our balance. So our first exercise is going to be walking on a tightrope. So I put a piece of tape on the floor if you don't have tape, that's okay. Try to use your imagination. I'm gonna go near the wall for safety, just so I have something to hold on to. And when I walk, I'm going to place one foot in front of the other. So it's gonna be heel to toe. And I'm going to try to take three steps forward. And three steps back. I'm trying to walk in a straight line, and I'm trying not to look down at my feet. To make this a little bit harder, I found a water bottle. So find something that's a little heavy that you can hold on to and put it over your shoulder and try it again. Ready? So find your tightrope. Go ahead and stand nice and tall with your feet heel to toe. Look straight ahead. Take three steps forward. You want to make it a little bit harder, take three steps backwards. And if you want, you can let go of the wall and work on your balance. That was our first exercise. Our second exercise is let's try and stand on one leg for 10 seconds. So take your hands, put them on your hip, lift your foot, hold it in the air, and let's count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Good job. Let's try the other leg. Ready? Hands on your hips. Lift your foot. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. We have one more exercise. This is called a single leg deadlift. So we're going to go ahead and pick up our heavy water bottle. And we're just going to hold it in front of us. So let's try to stand with our feet, hip, shoulders apart. And we're going to try to stand nice and tall. That means our ears are in line with our shoulders. Our shoulders are in line with our hips. And our hips are in line with our ankles. 
And we're gonna go ahead and stand on our left leg. We're gonna bend the knee and the hip. Try to keep the right leg straight and just keep your water bottle in front of you as you bend at the hip, trying to get your upper body and your leg parallel to the floor. And then slowly come back up to the start. Let's try it again and I'll face you this way. So we're gonna stand with our feet about hip width apart. We're gonna stand nice and tall. So our ears are in line with our shoulders. Our shoulders are in line with our hip and our hip is in line with our ankle. This time we're gonna stand on our right leg. We're gonna hold our water bottle right in front of us, let it hang, bend that knee a little bit, start to bend at the hip, bring your left leg up as you lower your upper body, trying to get it parallel to the floor, and then slowly come back to the start. Good job. Hope to see you next week. Hey, thank you for joining me today. So for today's exercises, I invited Missy, my mascot, to join us. And she is going to go right here and watch us. All we'll need today are three plates. Um, I chose to color mine with the letter X so that each plate is a different color because I'm going to use it later. And then we need a band. If you don't have a band, you can grab a towel. You'll be able to do this exercise with a towel. So what we're going to do today are three different exercises. We're going to start by practicing each one, and then we're going to do the three together as a circuit. So our first exercise is a bear walk. A bear walk is where you're going to go onto the floor, and you're going to lift your knees and walk opposite arm, opposite foot. And we're going to take four steps forward doing our bear walk. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to take four steps back. One, two, three, four. Now a bear crawl is the same exercise, but now our knees are on the floor. We don't lift them. So choose which one is better for you. Let's practice the bear crawl. One, two, three, four. Four steps back. One, two, three, four. Good job. Now, our next exercise are called lateral steps, and that's where we need our plates. I'm going to put the white plate in front of me, the blue plate on my right, and the pink plate on my left. And all I'm gonna do is stand in front of the white plate and step with my right leg out to the blue plate, my left leg to the pink plate. I can make it harder by taking the plates and moving them further away from the center plate. So now when I step out, I have to reach further. One, left to the pink, and back again. So we will do this exercise as part of our circuit. And our last exercise is an overhead press and an overhead walk. This is where you need your band. You're gonna grab it on the ends. You're gonna pull your band apart. What I don't want is I don't want the band to droop. So we need to use our back muscles to keep it nice and straight. And we're gonna bring the band underneath our chin and press directly over our head. Ready? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And for our walk, we're going to take those plates and we're going to use them just so we know where to start and where to stop. The pink plate is where I'm going to start and the blue plate is where I want to stop. So I'm going to do my overhead press and then I'm going to walk. And when I get to my plate, I'm going to turn around and go back to the start. Okay, ready to try these three exercises as a circuit now that we've learned them? Okay, so the first exercise is a bear walk and we're gonna do three of those. So we're gonna go down on our hands and our knees and I'm gonna do the walk, so I'm gonna lift my knees and we're gonna step forward four times. One, 
two, three, four. And now we're going to go backwards. One, two, three, four. Let's do that three times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. And last one backwards. One, two, three, four. Good job. Now we need our plates for our lateral steps. We're just going to do five of these. White in the middle, blue on the right, pink on the left. Let's start with our right leg. Five taps. One, two, three, four, five. And now five steps with our left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to pick up my plates and I'm going to use the blue plate to tell me where to start and the pink plate where to stop. And now we're going to take our band and we're going to do six overhead presses and then we're going to walk. So let's pull our band. Don't let it droop. Bring it right underneath your chin and let's press six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's hold it up over our head and we're going to walk from the blue plate to the pink. And this is our overhead walk. Turn around, go back to the start. This was two rounds of our overhead exercise. We're going to do two rounds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready? Let's start with our walk. I got to my pink plate, so I'm going to turn around and go back to the start. And that was our circuit for today. Thank you for joining me. Hi everybody, I'm Nancy. Thanks for coming today. I thought for today's exercise, we could work on hurdles. Now I don't have any hurdles in my home, so I found these shoe boxes. So I thought we could either place our shoe boxes as if they were a hurdle. If that's too tall, that's okay. Maybe you could find a piece of tape and pretend that that's your hurdle. And we're gonna practice stepping over our hurdles. So to begin, we want to lift our leg and step forward. So it's important that our toes face forward when we walk over our hurdle. So we're gonna lift our foot and step over. Now I'm only lifting my right foot. And when I'm done with this series of hurdles, I'm going to then walk with my left foot. So I'm gonna turn around and go back with the left foot. Lift and step over, making sure my toes face forward. Now, if the tape was easy and one shoe box was easy, we can make it harder by placing the shoe boxes on top of each other. And now our hurdle just got taller. So same rule, we're going to face forward. We're going to lift our foot, whoa, and step forward. Ready? Lift and step forward. That was my right leg. Now I'm going to try it with my left leg. Lift, step forward. Lift, step forward. Now that was a forward step. We can also walk sideways. So I'm going to go ahead and practice first with just one shoe box. And I'm going to stand to the side of my hurdle. Same rule. Lift, and this time I step over with the right leg. All the way over. And now I'm going to go back to the start, lifting my left leg. So this is a lateral step, it's a little harder, 
And again, you can start with your cape or shoebox. And if you want to make it even harder, you can place one box on top of the other. And now your hurdle's even taller. Ready? Lift. Step over. Lift. Step over. And now we're going to go back to the start. Lift. Step over. Now, it's important when we walk over our hurdles that we lift and step over. If you find it's difficult to keep your leg here, you can make your hurdle wider because you don't want your leg coming out. You want to make sure you lift up and step forward. So if you make it wider, it might help remind you, don't go this way, go this way. Okay? Have fun with your hurdles. Thanks for joining me.